welcome. One more case of processing and jobs on two machines in the chapter job sequencing. This time we are going to discuss the solution in two parts. In first part we are going to discuss the job sequencing and in the second part we are going to prepare the statement showing minimum total time elapsed and ideal time. Yes, two machines, machine one, machine two, logically the, all the jobs are first processed on machine one and then they are on the processed on machine two. Now, Johnson's algorithm, first of all we need to find out the lowest time in the whole chart, in the whole problem, that is three job number four on machine one requires three hours, that means the minimum time or the least time is on machine one. So we need to place this job on the left hand side of this job sequencing chart. Our first choice is job number four. Now for the remaining five machines, one, two, three, four and six, find out the minimum time. It is on machine one again, five hours on machine one so we need to place this job on left hand side of the remaining chart job number one i'm very sorry job number one now what again remaining for job number two three four and six what is the minimum time minimum time is six that is on machine 1 for job 3 and on machine 1 for job 6. So there is tie in lowest time on machine 1. Tie is on machine 1. If tie is on machine 1, find out the total time 6 plus 11, 17, 6 plus 14, 20. Find out the total time and place the job with the lowest total time on left hand side. So job 3 will be our first choice among all these job 3. And job 5, sorry job 6 after that. Now for remaining 2 jobs, the minimum time is 7 that is on machine 2. So it is going to be placed on the right hand side job 2 and the last job is 5 on order number 5 so ultimately 4 1 3 6 5 and 2 that is our preference order or our preferred job sequencing first of all we are going to start with job 4 and then 1 3 then 6 then 5 and 2 in this order we are going to complete all these 6 jobs this is end of part 1 of the solution and in the next part we are going to prepare the statement of total time and idle time that's it thank you very much